In the last days before the dedication of St. Joseph's, people have been working hard on some final details, but we've had a chance to contemplate the beauty of our new cathedral and reflect on the meaning of this historic event. Architecture does something that's a little different than music. Art and architecture, they play different roles, but you know, when you walk into a building like this, it changes your disposition, and uh, you know, it, buildings can, they have a sort of, what do they say, feng shui? That, uh, you know, there's a certain ambient culture when you feel, and hopefully uh, the building places you at ease. Uh, but then what does music do? Music allows our soul to sort of soar up to God, and so uh, I'm sure that the whole process of uh, worship here will engage each of our senses, our sight, our sense of sound, our sense of smell, uh, so that all gives glory and honor to God. Uh, the last minute details are some of the mosaic work that is in the sanctuary that was the restoration of some of the mosaic work when we had to bring the altar out a little bit. So uh, that's taking place right now so that has me a bit on pins and needles. And uh, we changed the steps for the, uh, for the pulpit or the ambo uh, to make them uh, more comfortable to walk up. And so we have to put a new railing in that's, that's still taking place. So this is all work taking place in the sanctuary right before our celebration that has me a bit anxious. The real work that's taking place that has me very anxious is the uh, the work in the Undercroft where we'll be having the celebration with the priest beforehand and the celebration afterwards. And so uh, I'm very hopeful that in the next uh, 24 hours we're going to be seeing a uh, major breakthrough. <laughs> it's hard to believe that this is the same basement we visited just two months ago. Though parts of the basement were threatened in the recent flooding, you can hardly tell now. Now we are just clean it up a little bit. A sanctuary light there, which is on high, is a beautiful, was the original, and the pictures I had seen was there, the sanctuary lamp, but uh, for years, I mean, was not there. Now it's back there to the place, so the sanctuary light uh, is telling us that the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ is there in the tabernacle. That's why we are preparing all these small details, the final details. <laughs> Consecration is to be set apart, dedicated for a specific purpose, and this building is dedicated for one purpose, to give praise and glory to God. Uh, and it's a reminder that it's not just a building that's meant to give praise and glory to God, but each of us are called to be consecrated. We are each consecrated by virtue of our baptism uh, to give praise and glory to God. So hopefully the refurbishment of this church building is a reminder of what we're doing in our own spiritual lives, but uh, also throughout the Diocese of Brooklyn. So it's also a sign of great hope, I think, uh, and great renewal. Reporting for Currents, this is Conrad Aderer.